hair is more beautiful when it's not yours why i went natural and why you should too i'm kidding i swear i'm kidding hey everyone my name is muna welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel Whew. this is my 3s post picture meaning i have been natural for three years i want to tell you my journey i big chopped my hair three years ago and this is three years later can we just in this video i just want to tell you guys you know share with you the journey how it has been how everything just played out this wasn't the intention actually the intention wasn't to be natural for long yeah, i wanted to relax my hair after a year a year turned to three years i'm just enjoying the journey i'll be sharing with you why i went natural so if you're ready for this video let's go so let's start with pre big chop that's before my big chop so before i big chopped i was not natural have either been on relaxed hair or straight up blue coat this is kind of my first time being natural and of course i'm enjoying it i'm not gonna come here and say that i regret being relaxed and all of that while some people's stories and experiences are valid my relaxed journey which is literally all my most of my life was pretty pleasant actually there was nothing wrong with my relaxed hair but it just felt like we're in a toxic relationship so here's the thing yeah you know those couples that are like great individuals apart but they come together and they are terrible together that was how me and my relaxed hair was i'll explain let's flash back to 2020 we are in the pandemic we're just fresh into the pandemic and i wanted to wash my hair i did wash my hair actually but then i was like ah, <clears throat> next thing i know i'm picking out my hair and then I cut the front. Before you know it, I cut, I cut off everything. That was literally my big chop story. There was nothing extra. I didn't have any revelation to go natural. Nothing, nothing like that. I literally just cut my hair because I was bored. And honestly, that's kind of one of the best decisions ever. I'm not saying that you should just go and cut your hair impulsively. Being natural is not so bad. Although, I would say that I do have the personality of impulsively doing things not in an extreme way but like i'd get piercings when i just feel like i'd wake up in the morning and say oh i feel like getting a piercing and i go get a piercing i want to cut my hair i cut my hair i just have one tip if you want to do a big job please do it in the salon because my haircut wasn't exactly the prettiest you know, just do it in the salon so i big chop my hair and when my mom comes back and she's all dramatic and she's like oh did you cut your hair and do you know for a sec i was confused because why are you pissed i i understood because my hair was really pretty that was one of the things she was really proud about so me cutting it off was like just first of all it was it wasn't like i was talking about it before she just saw me on chopped hair and she was like what the hell is going on here i could understand but at the same time i was like mm, calm down mom it's just hair that's pretty much it about my big chop my knowledge on natural hair wasn't exactly the best especially hair types like mine or hair types that were kind of like mine for a very long time i've always liked watching natural hair content on youtube on ig the problem is that the natural hair content i was coming across wasn't hair like mine the popular hair youtubers at the time were much more curly and like soft and very 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 manageable i had seen natural hair types like mine but i just thought that you had to, you had to be very very lucky to get those kinds of hair but i was wrong the point is that i didn't really think natural hair was beautiful and that's just what i'm trying to say i didn't think i would ever wear out my hair like this the kind of content i was seeing was just looser curls and all of that and i thought that oh these are the only pretty hair types that were out there but obviously i was wrong what made me go natural aka why didn't i relax my hair after a year like i said well i was enjoying it a little bit too much that's the reason actually there's no deep reason as to why i went natural or why i cut my hair there's, there's nothing deep for me it's just vibes to be honest <laughs> i just fell in love you know you are hanging out with this person for a while and you're like hmm you're kind of cool that's kind of the relationship i have with my natural hair now it's just that slow love that happened and then you're now deep into the love if i'm being serious here i have a very good relationship with my natural hair and i'm aware that most people or a lot of a lot of people don't have a good relationship with a natural hair which is valid to be honest not everybody has the luxury of time to give to their natural hair i get that to be very honest i've just been one of the lucky people that loves taking care of hair 
I think that's also important. You have to actually love taking care of your hair to be able to navigate your natural hair and all of that. But I'm um, speaking about my natural hair and my experience with my natural hair. The relationship I have with my natural hair now is so tight because I feel like we're in this committed relationship and one person is about to propose to the other. That's pretty much how we are. My relationship with my natural hair as it pertains to wigs is kind of a funny one but like it's not that complicated to be honest i kind of transitioned from wearing wigs being natural to not wearing wigs at all no i still eat in those wigs to be honest at some point wigs were getting more and more inconveniencing i also like to add that on so many occasions i did forget my wig at home while i went out with cornrows and then i'd go back to just get my wig have you seen this country's weather i don't know when i don't know the point where i decided that i don't want to wear wigs anymore it was just like a gradual process sometime last year i just there wearing my natural hair out i'd want to wear wigs in my cornrow and then i would just like you know what let me just take my cornrow out and that was it i would just take my cornrow out because i was getting tired of wigs and then slowly and steady i just stopped <laughs> wigs altogether and i still wear wigs but just not wigs that don't look kind of look like my hair at least I wear wigs but like i wear natural hair wigs and i'm not here to tell you not to wear wigs please i enjoyed wigs while i could and don't get me wrong i could decide to wear wigs again nothing is supposed to be wrong with that i don't really have any use for them at least for now i don't know if i'm gonna have use for them in the future i do have a couple of things to say about how i've been perceived with natural hair and with wigs so with natural hair i get a lot <laughs> a little bit too much compliments <laughs> compliments always start with things like are you mixed oh, your hair is beautiful are you mixed and it's like why don't you just stop by your hair is beautiful you know what i mean i get that it's supposed to be a compliment but it's just a weird compliment so it's like must i be mixed can't i be from nigeria totally from nigeria and just have beautiful hair I don't know why but it seems as if hair is more beautiful when it's not yours or when you're not from here i don't know if anyone understands what i'm saying but sometimes it's just interesting to get these compliments because it's like i wonder what they are thinking underneath this compliment i wonder what is going on in their head i really think i should do like a q and e or something or i'll just ask my male friends on what they prefer not girls on natural hair or girls on wigs i think it's going to be interesting to be honest i don't know what, you, what do you think just leave it in comments if you think it's a good idea i'm actually very curious because what i've been seeing and the things i hear is just weird and then again there are some guys that when you ask them about natural hair they're like i don't really like girls on natural hair like it's dirty and all of that i have actually heard guys say that girls with natural hair look dirty and you know i kind of understand because maybe the ones that you've seen aren't the natural hair that are being taken care of but but then again it's like all of us you have social media you have tv and another thing with wigs that i realized about myself is the fact that i used to do more for wigs than i used to do my natural hair taking care of my natural hair it's not something that i started doing right off the bat it's something that i just kind of grew into i realized back then that i would shampoo my wigs i'd condition my wigs you know i would actually take care of my wigs but then i would just neglect my hair in a cornrow and then just you know call it a day or maybe like put shea butter here and there and just call it a day yes i was leaving my hair alone but at the same time i wasn't exactly caring for my hair these are things i just realized along the line with natural hair and wigs and you know every other thing in between it's kind of sad because this is the kind of hair that is supposed to be popular here it's supposed to be a normal thing for us to wear our natural hair out even if we wear wigs here and there it's not popular to wear our natural hair out so that's why when somebody wears out their natural hair it's kind of weird does that make any sense when i was wearing wigs i got compliments here and there but i wouldn't compare it to wearing my natural hair out wigs was kind of like me blending in with everybody which there's nothing wrong with that but then i'm with my natural hair and it's like oh who is that girl again wigs are not bad they're just not my thing anymore it's just not my vibe like, it's not the vibe stop i recently gave away all my wigs all the wigs i had because it's like i don't need you guys anymore I threw away all my hose which was weird i was kind of scared when i was doing that because it's like okay but then again that's kind of like marriage you don't necessarily ask why if i stop liking this babe or this guy you just go through it 
and hope that you love them forever so that's where i am my natural hair i'm not thinking about if it doesn't work out i know that it's going to work out but if we don't work out we, life goes on that's pretty much how life is I didn't necessarily do much let me just tell you the genesis of how i started using products i'm not a product junkie to be honest most of the products i use are what i've seen recommended on youtube or instagram or my pr package to be honest i'm not somebody that's like heavy on buying products i just find what works and then i stick to it i wasn't exactly someone that knew what products to use basically what i was using for my hair and it was working a lot of shea butter I was using that on my relaxed hair and i used it on my natural hair and i found out that my hair loves shea butter so i'm talking about really like the local shea butter here i didn't exactly use a lot of products what i used to do was that i hardly even washed my hair to be honest i'd wait a month to wash my hair but now i wash it every week i'd use anything i see any shampoo i see any conditioner i see i didn't even know what wash and go was i was braiding and still wearing wigs it was also the pandemic so there wasn't that much pressure so i just left my hair to just do its thing basically again i wasn't doing it for the purpose of it growing to be very honest i was very indifferent about my hair growing i just wanted to experience that phase of my life and and i did i experienced it and we're here my natural hair journey is in like struggle of we genuinely love each other i genuinely love this babe right here because i feel weird when she's not out i feel weird when i go for an event for an instance and my natural hair is not out people are complimenting you and they're saying i like your makeup or i like your outfit or something and then in my head i'm like oof i have something that you haven't even seen if only you saw my girl if only you saw my girl i guess what i'm trying to say is that i've never actually felt more myself and i'm still on that journey of accepting myself with everything that comes with it i think this is a big part of what i love about myself my hair it's literally growing out from my roots and I couldn't be more grateful about this thing i call hair sometimes i tell people oh it's just hair it's gonna grow back but other times it's not just hair it's there's a reason why people are spending money on wigs or hair maintenance or you know hair in general it's it's never just hair and also guys you know why you don't change your barbers so often because you know it's not just hair it's never just hair it's, it has never been just hair i'm just glad that i am in this era i could tomorrow want to relax my hair or want to do another big chop that's also okay do whatever the hell you want with your hair as long as it's making you comfortable right now this is where we're at i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i didn't ruffle a couple of feathers because i might have so i don't know if you learned something this is just my journey and my story so yeah do with it what you want <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video